Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch on this absolutely miserable June day and we are doing a review of this absolutely not miserable, really, really exciting Roller Team T-Line 743. I'm really genuinely excited about this van. I love it to bits. I think this is an absolute belter. So uh, Roller Team, they're an Italian brand. They're part of the wider French Dragano group who own Adria, Autotrout, Autosleep, Benamar, Chausson amongst others. Roller team say they're Italian. It used to be known as a builder of sort of budget coach builds at a good price. Uh, this is their flagship one and actually these are really really good. If I was comparing these to a car I'd say they're like a Sayat of the Volkswagen Audi group so they're, they're really good value um, but actually really well sort of built I think these days. I'm quite impressed by them. I wish I sold them myself. So they're, they're decent tackle, very popular, very modern and um, not that cheap anymore unfortunately like everything else. So a new T-Line uh, 740 which is the nearest new equivalent to this so the island bed seven and a half meter low profile um, you'd be paying 74 for an automatic one and you can't get one and probably by the time you could get one they'd be 80 so this one's one year old it's a 21 plate it's got the marvelous fiat nine speed automatic which is a german zf auto box it's ridiculously desirable and um it's 66.995 so you're saving loads over the new price which you can't get and loads and loads over the uh the new price by the time it does turn up probably next June and you can have it straight away within reason about a month's wait at the moment so she's a roller team a T line 743 that's the flagship range from roller team it's got an island bed transverse I think this is a brilliant layout I uh, really like it three and a half ton you can drive up on your car license Fitch Cato 2.3 9 speed automatic it's done 7,000 miles 7.4 meters long 2.35 wide and 2.95 tall because it's got a front drop down bed and it's priced at 66.995 and as soon as this hits the web this should sell because it is a belter so um, interesting story this was one we bought from a local gentleman and he actually won it in one of these Facebook raffles believe it or not he paid £10 for this van I'm not going to tell you what we paid for it but it was a hell of a lot more than £10 that's for sure he's a lucky lucky guy and we're lucky to get it and whoever buys it will be lucky to buy it because we're selling this at a really good price so it's based on the Fiat Casso X7. Uh, it's got 16 inch alloy wheels with factory fitted uh, Fiat alloys there. Um, it's in pretty much spot on condition really. I'm sure there's a mark on it somewhere but if there is I can't find it. So it's got this nice sort of uh, white and off grey silvers all the way around. Very very on trend. Nice awning light. Only bit of spec it hasn't got is a worth roll out awning. Um, these roller teams are very popular with the rental companies. This isn't an ex-rental van, I'd like to point that out. It was one private owner from New and then the gentleman we bought it off of who only had it a week before he sold it to us. Um, centrally locked habitation door with a window blind and fly screen. Depth for cassette toilet locker. We've got these nice flush fit double glazed windows. A gas locker for two gas bottles there and then a big old garage so this has got a transverse raised island bed very unusual layout with a really unusual lounge but it gives you a really big garage i didn't think this would have a really big garage but it does i was surprised when i opened this it's got some bits and bobs in it as well um also left in it we'll pass them on to you like a parasol there things but really big garage tie down points in there drain points as well and that's all plastic roller teams are made out of plastic so you're unlikely to get a damp one which is a, a real big selling point it is raining so i apologize if the camera gets a bit blurry we've got high level reversing camera which is sunk into a sat nav head unit and a four bike bike rack on the back which is very very handy but you can put bikes in your garage instead if you want Second garage door there on the roof. There's a TV aerial and there's also a solar panel, which is great. Nice big bedroom windows at the back that we see from the inside. Um, fridge vents for your uh, fridge, which I think is actually a 12 volt one and doesn't need vents, but I don't know. We'll check that on the inside. Main hook up, leisure battery, and as I say, it's got the solar panel. That's your main hook up. Vent for your Truma gas and electric blown air heating system and hot water, and your onboard fresh water tank there. Um, this will be a little storage locker down here which I should have opened up beforehand so if you bear with us I'll just open this up and see what it is you don't really need any extra external storage because you've got the large garage but this would appear to be something so I'm guessing it's a little wet locker yeah it is so you've got your leisure battery in there I oh, know it isn't 
It's just some uh, water hose that it comes with and a little box of other stuff as well. There's all sorts of things with this. So your electric hookup cables in there. So it's a little storage locker, which is a nice bonus thing to have. So it's 140 horsepower, plenty, plenty of power, standard 120. Looking inside, so she's done 7,117 miles. She's got air conditioning, cruise control, eco pack auto stop start, and it's got um, hill descent control, traction plus, advanced traction control as well, central cup holders, and this Xzent accent retrofit um, stereo head unit. That I presume has got nav on it, but don't hold me to that. I'll have to check that, but normally they do. Uh, only thing it's not got is cab blinds, but it's got um, thermal screens to go around the cab. And yeah, condition wise, can't really see a mark on it. There might be something. I thought I spotted something the other day, but it must be very minor because I can't see it now. So going in through your habitation door, I'm going to wipe the camera screen in a minute, but you can see the ambience of this is fantastic. Very on-trend, modern, two-tone greys, uh, nice quality leatherette, centrally locked habitation door, and a flat floor to the front, and then one step up to the bedroom area. So you can see you've got a transverse island bed, a mid-kitchen, which is L-shaped, so I like that and a big L-shaped kitchen which is really really cool and this is one of the many things I really like about this it's got a brilliant lounge I think this is fantastic huge L-shaped sofa with two travelling seat belts on it so you can sit there with your feet up and watch your telly box your telly box is over here and it comes with the TV on it which is a really nice Avtech smart TV so that's got the uh, internet connectivity to it as well if you're on Wi-Fi you can hotspot your phone onto there we don't check or guarantee aftermarket audio visual equipment but uh, we will leave that on there nice table that will fold out and swivel around and such like have a little look at this head unit it does say nav on it so I'll have to therefore presume it's got nav upon it so yeah two-tone leather faux leather but nice quality Comfortable, firm, but not too firm. Really nice lighting all the way around. I really like this. I like these big upholstered bits here. Got some battery management system going on here as well. So that's kind of cool. So that'll tell you your solar charge and your battery and stuff like that. Storage under the floor. Nice mirror there for before you go out. Very simple control panel that tells you everything you need to know, like your water and battery capacities. Heating system control up there for your Truma gas and electric blown air heating system. Nice light wood finish. And then, yeah, this L-shaped kitchen. This is a real good kitchen. This uh, European van's not designed for an oven, but they've managed to fit in a uh, Thetford duplex combi oven and grill. Now, people look at this and say, oh, that's a small fridge. I think this is a 12-volt fridge. It is a 12-volt fridge. So it just runs off your battery, so that's great. It'll run at any angle. It's got a little ice box as well. But... You've also got a massive drop-in freezer up there, which is really, really big. So that's a great feature as well. Three gas burners, as you'd expect. A nice light-up splashback, plasticky sort of uh, cabinet work all the way around. And a good bit of kitchen storage behind it here as well. And some pull-out bits, all very chunky, clunky, nicely put together. Again, nice use of lighting behind the mirror there. That's very, very smart. Up here, we've got your front bed. So it's an electric bed, and that will come down, I would say, to this level. So it comes down to a decent height. Panoramic skylight above the cab there. All in excellent condition. So then you come through to your next room, so your, your bathroom area, where you've got a totally separate shower. So in here, we've got a really nice washroom. That door will come across and totally separate the bedroom from the rest of the area. And then we've got a really good size separate shower here with a lift out panel. Again, really nice use of lighting. Hanging rail up there and a skylight for ventilation above. These doors will just come out to give you a good size shower. And then, yeah, this washroom, which is lovely. Freestanding basin, roll with two mirror. And two storage cupboards, one up high, one below. And your bog standard, if you'll excuse the pun, set for cassette toilet. And then your bedroom transverse island bed i like transverse island beds for some reason 
they're not that common but I think this is good because you can get in both sides uh, it's a bit of a step up but you've got a step and once you're up to there it's easy enough to pop yourself into bed you've got this nicely patterned hotel boutique style headboard full width mirror for if you want to lie in bed and look at yourself in the mirror as I'm sure you do <laughs> TV aerial booster box there new solar panel charge controller box above and then we've got a wardrobe over yonder. I suppose if we're being picky, wardrobe space is a bit small. I wonder if there's hanging space underneath the bed. There may well be. That's access into your into your garage there. In fact, it's not. No, that's a really big storage cupboard. So you could put a hanging rail in there, I'd imagine, if you wanted to. More clothes storage underneath the bed there. And we've got a solid door to come across here to totally separate your bedroom from your bathroom as well, if, if you want to. And those two nice picture windows, skylight, lovely, lovely use of lighting as well. Now transverse island beds, sometimes they haven't got too much room with the foot on them, but this is, this is big enough. You don't have to shove it back or anything like that to get round to the back of the van where you've got another step up to get into the bed. And you've got your wardrobe there with one, two, three high level cupboards. Again, all in fantastic condition. We've not cleaned this, it doesn't need it. So it's very, very good. Looking underneath the bed, there's nothing particularly interesting underneath the bed. So this is it really. I think this is a belt-in van. It's a belt-in buy for somebody, uh, for a luxury modern touring weapon. Quite a youthful van. One year old, 66.95 for this Roller Team T-Line 743 at Highbridge Motorhomes, Devon. So we're just south of Exeter, before Plymouth, just before Newton Abbott on the South Devon Expressway. Our phone number is 01626 832 792. Ask to speak to Highbridge Devon because it does divert if nobody answers in three calls to Somerset. But ask to speak to Highbridge Devon branch about this roller team, Zephiro T-Line 743. Thank you very much. Goodbye.